If you've received a census survey in the mail, listen up. It's not the official census set for 2020. The Census Bureau sends out about 290,000 American community surveys each month, usually at the start of the month. If you've received it, you're encouraged to return it as soon as possible. The data collected helps determine how $675 billion are spent federally and in state. The survey also helps prepare for the census in 2020. Folks in the Valley are already working with the Census Bureau. Channel 5's Valerie Gonzalez says they're concerned folks will not participate. Texas historically doesn't have the highest participation rate with the Census Bureau. Among communities with high immigrant populations, there's an expectation that trust will be an issue. When census employees visited Maria Romero's neighborhood in 2010, her neighbors hesitated to open their doors. No querían dar la información ya que como pues no no viven o no se conocían allí en el área. Romero was asked to walk with them. Doors began to open. She knows how her community can benefit from participating in the survey. Es importante registrarse en el censo ya que va a traer economía, verdad, dinero para el estudio, para la educación, para la salud, también pues para la infraestructura. La Unión del Pueblo Entero coordinator Marta Sanchez estimates the community's loss when they refuse to fill out the census. When we fail to count the people, we lose money for each person. I want to say maybe $2,000 for each person that we don't count, and that's for a year. Sanchez is aware of the reason why the government needs to establish trust. The Census Bureau reassures data is confidential. We are prohibited from sharing our data household data from individuals with uh, the Immigration Service, so that's not something we do. Tom Edwards, a respondent advocate for the Census Bureau, tells us employees face stiff penalties for sharing information too. We as Census Bureau employees, in fact, are, we are sworn for life to keep the data we collect confidential, and we are subject to five years in jail and um, fines of up to $250,000. Nonprofits and advocates like Lupe have formed a commission in Hidalgo County. They meet with a census representative to intervene to make sure the upcoming 2020 census doesn't jeopardize lives. We asked the Census Bureau to give us, to show us the questionnaire as much as, uh, advance as much as possible so we can screen it, so we can see it, so we can see that there is not implications that the people might read that this is information that they're asking about the status. The Census Bureau knows there's an uphill battle looming. Este, creo que no va a ser nada fácil. They're relying on the Commission's help to reestablish trust now, two years away. Just this week, the Census Bureau announced they will open a new area census office in Hidalgo County to serve the whole Rio Grande Valley. The Bureau also announced residents will be able to respond online, over the phone, or on paper beginning March 23, 2020. In the studio, Valerie Gonzalez, Channel 5, News at 6.